Okay, so it's 7.31 p.m. on the 3rd December 2020. Today's a Thursday. So as I was, as I have mentioned a few times, I have been thinking of becoming a car mechanic. I actually sent this email to a TAFE college in Madroit, uh, Struggle Street, and uh, they responded, they responded, but they said that, oh, I wanted to do the CTV, yeah, this one. Certificate to see, I can actually enroll in this. I don't think I have to pay any fee. But look at this work placement is a requirement of this course. You will need one day per week at an automotive workshop. So there are 18 weeks. So that's like, I need 18 days in an automotive workshop. <laughs> this qualification reflects the role of individuals who perform a range of servicing tasks in the automotive retail service and repair industry. So they said that, and I sent the email, they said that they, they would uh, try to uh, help me get a work placement but uh, oh, what did they say oh like the the the, the uh, encouraging me uh, but what they said that if the um, I am covered under TAFE New South Wales insurance that I should tell potential employers that uh, unpaid, yeah, I'm looking for an unpaid work experience, okay, anyway, so, then I was watching a video, and, you know, about doing mechanic stuff, and someone mentioned asbestos, so, uh, motor mechanic asbestos, apparently these are asbestos, Best is a very popular component for vehicle brakes because of its heat resistance and strength. The concentration of asbestos in these components was estimated at 30 to 80 percent. The number of American automobile mechanics exposed to asbestos dust from brake and clutch work is estimated at 900,000. I'm like scared. This is like a a law firm. Uh, the rise of asbestos-related disease in mechanics and car enthusiasts. Asbestos is an insidious part of Australia's history. What is less known is how widespread its use was in cars and car parts. Upward trend in the number of inquiries from mechanics who have been exposed to asbestos through car parts such as brake pads. 200% rise in the number of former mechanics who have sought legal support. Mechanics were exposed to asbestos when replacing brake pads and clutches and using compressed air to remove dust that had accumulated. Yeah. Surprisingly, asbestos was still being used in auto parts such as brake parts and pads as recently, as recently as the early 2000s. <laughs> oh my goodness. What can I do? I need. I can't do it. This is course. <laughs> Every 
every time I want to do something, there's always something else comes up. Like, uh, man, why? Why? Why is it? I mean, I'm just, I'm just sort of getting into this. South Australia motor vehicle workshops many vehicles produced before 2003 are likely to have asbestos containing components that remain in the vehicle until replacement is required huh. motor vehicle repair and maintenance work may therefore involve the risk of exposure to asbestos fibers from asbestos containing components such as brake pads they always mention this brake pads slash shoes gaskets and clutch plates these three are like important things Pro prohibitions on the use of asbestos containing products came into effect across australia on 31 December 2003 oh, and replacement brake pads, brake shoes and clutch plates fitted to vehicles after this date must be asbestos free. <sighs> asbestos containing brake pads, brake shoes are pads and shoes and clutch plates where during use leaving a coating of asbestos fibers and dust in the component and surrounding parts asbestos containing containing cylinder heads and exhaust gaskets can become powdery with heat and readily release dust and fibers when disturbed no, I've seen so many videos where people are like working on uh, these, you know, um, at least on these, I, I think these are the, the cylinders and the engine and the, 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 they put the gaskets on. Using an industrial vacuum cleaner where a respirator uh, laundering of contaminated clothing, contaminated disposable uh, non disposal is to be placed in a heavy duty plastic bag. Clearly mark the bag to indicate that the clothing is the asbestos. Have the clothing laundered at an industrial laundry. <laughs> Man, why is this so so difficult? safety tips do not use power tools do not use abrasive cutting or sanding discs oh. do not walk on corrugated uh, asbestos cement roofs as you may run the risk of falling through hmm. Hmm. There you go. That's like a big issue. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> uh, but I have been uh, looking at the cars, and uh, apparently this 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 uh, SUV SUV is uh, it's 
call it Land Cruiser Prado. Um, nothing, oh, look at the series. Apparently, the this I think it's related to the engine. Apparently, this KD engine is good. So, there's 120 and 150. I was looking for 120. So, 150 is more recent, I think. So, as you can see, these are, these are used vehicles. The cheapest is 15 grand. Oh, I need, I, I can't do the automatic transmit. I mean, I can only do the automatics. Let's see. Uh, these cars are supposed to be good. Diesel. Yes, you want the diesel because apparently diesel is more efficient. It's more efficient. Uh, I've been looking at these cars. Yeah, this is a recent, decent price. It's also 2006. So hopefully this is after the whole asbestos thing. After the whole asbestos. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was like thinking, oh, maybe I'll do the auto mechanic thing, but then I'm like, no, no, no. So I don't know. I'm just so this is kind of demoralizing, you know. It's like, what can I do? Everywhere there's always some kind of risk. Some kind of risk. But the thing is, like for career, for the um, if you look at the job outlook for mechanics, is actually like this. This industry is supposed to shrink. It's not supposed to grow because I guess they're moving from diesel to electric or something. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> What do I do? What do I do? 